codes, wiring, and special wiring needs. The National Electric Code, or NEC, and the Canadian Electric Code, CEC, which are almost identical, assure a safe electrical system, which is a major consideration in the bathroom, where water and electricity are in close proximity. To improve safety, these codes now require ground fault circuit interrupters, that is, GFCI, in all bathroom receptacles. These devices reduce the hazards of electrical shock by cutting the electrical flow quickly when they detect that the flow going out to an appliance is different than the flow that returns. GFCI receptacles fit in the same space as the standard receptacles, but need to be appropriately wired. Most local codes also require that at least one GFCI receptacle be installed within 36 inches of the outside edge of the lavatory. You can refer to Planning Guideline 24 in Appendix A. You will find a link to Appendix A in the Resources chapter of this course. These outlets shall be located on a wall or partition that is adjacent to the lavatory basin location, located on the countertop, but not in a face-up position on the countertop, or installed on the side or face of the basin cabinet, not more than 12 inches below the countertop. Furthermore, no receptacles can be placed within the tub or shower space. No switches can be located within wet locations or within reach of a person standing in the tub or shower unless the switches are part of a listed tub or shower assembly. Check out Planning Guideline 24 for this as well. One component of older homes that is typically outdated is the wiring. Not only may the older wiring be in poor condition, it may also be made of unsafe materials like aluminum. In either case, it should be replaced. Signs of inadequate or outdated wiring include the home is over 30 years old and installed without a grounding system. A fuse box is present instead of a circuit breaker box. The wiring system has only two wires and therefore is not grounded. Aluminum wire is present. No GFCIs are present. Fuses blow or circuit breakers trip often. Two fuse switches, receptacles, and lights are present. Extension cords are frequently used. The electrical supply at the entrance box or main entrance is 100 amps or less. Aluminum wire, which has been found to develop fire hazards, was frequently used for new construction and remodeling from 1965 to 1973. Copper wire is now the wire of choice, so if aluminum wire is present, the entire home must be rewired as part of the remodeling project. Updating the wiring will ensure that the electrical system is safe and meets current electrical codes. Adequate wiring for today's high-tech homes is as essential in the bathroom as in other rooms. Consumers are bringing more electrical devices into the bathroom, so plan ahead to ensure adequate wiring is available now and for future needs. Check to see if the room has an appropriate number of circuits. If not, can new circuits be added? Heaters for steam showers, saunas, and tubs will demand a large amount of electricity and may need 240-volt circuits, not commonly specified in older bathrooms. Be sure these new circuits are in place before the finishing work is completed. With the addition of more equipment in the bathroom, especially in larger luxury bathrooms, plan for the wiring needs before walls are finished. Here are a few examples. Hardwire electrical towel warmers or lighted magnifying mirrors to eliminate dangling cords. Incorporate wiring for towel warming drawers, anti-fogging mirrors, and heated toilet seats. Plan individual circuits for electrical resistance heaters or electric floor heaters. Don't forget wiring for ceiling heaters and ventilation systems. Provide a line, and perhaps an individual circuit, to fixtures such as whirlpool tubs, steam showers, and some toilets and bidets. If a laundry area is being incorporated into the bathroom, plan a dedicated circuit for the clothes washer and or clothes dryer. An electric clothes dryer will need a 240-volt circuit, 
and some European clothes washers may also require a 240 volt circuit for heating water. If a television or sound system is included, outlet receptacles will need to be located for their use as well as speakers that may be part of the system. Thank you.